fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Philly offense taking center stage again. And you look at this Eagle team. And they've been an under-the-radar bunch this offseason, especially compared to some of the other teams in their division. But yeah, they're the only team that returns their head coach and coordinator, so that's certainly something. And they didn't make any splashy moves, but I don't know, Charles, you kind of get the sense that they went that way. They just wanted to get faster, and they tried to do that during the draft. All right, especially on the offensive side, well, with Jalen Rager coming out of TCU. They also drafted Jalen Hurts, the quarterback at Oklahoma, so expect to see him using some specialty situations. But they can just keep Carson Wentz healthy, their quarterback. Remember, they made the playoffs, but he only played in the first quarter in the playoff game because of injury. So 9-7 last year. They think they're going to take a step forward. And on the defensive side of the ball, they're going to retool a little bit. The bottom line, they think they've got enough talent in this roster to win yet again. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 40. I got kicked kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. He'll hit Jackson complete. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. By that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. On first and ten, it's Sanders, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun now for Wentz. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. From the gun, it's Wentz. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, and certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted at, their own. Spotted at the 14-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Brought down by Nate Gary. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Goff, and nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Jefferson. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, Goff. 
And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. First and 10. Up into the last five weeks of the 2019 season, if you had said, who is Tyler Higby? You might have got some blank stares back, but down the stretch, only Julio Jones and Michael Thomas had more targets in the final month of the 2019 season. A breakout year for Tyler Higby. He expects to continue those types of numbers and beyond going forward. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now the six-year man from Texas. This is Malcolm Brown. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll run on third down with Brown. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box, though. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So that one, a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Connection made here, Goff to Higby. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Complete, Jefferson the target. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Again, golf. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. From the gun, here's gone. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods from Jared Goff. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. And I 
ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Kick this one away, and off it goes. From the six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed. Always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. It's a second down run with Sanders. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now Wentz on third down. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That gain on third down, good for 28. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. On first down, it's Sanders. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Working with a second and four. Working from the gun, Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Wentz. And this is caught by Jackson. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The quick slant, good for eight and a first. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Another big play there by Aaron Donald, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year in 2017 and 18. We know he can rush the passer. He's also dominant in the run game. The quickness for a man his size often defeats the offensive lineman trying to block him. Wentz on target there to Jeffrey. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. That's a gain of eight. 
Makes it third and three. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished. Just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Rams 7, Eagles nothing. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Right back to Sanders on first down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 11 now. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Taken down. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Third and, and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Eagles on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. This will be caught just inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. This has been a long drive. You know that defense, they're craving to get off the field. They were able to force it free, but couldn't recover it. Yeah, and on the offensive side of the ledger, they were thinking about how do we punctuate this drive with six, right? Making an exclamation point. Instead, you got to put a question mark next to this drive now after the fumble, even though they recovered it. And he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. At seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. On the return is Henderson. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. 
that didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That catch good for five. It's third down. Cooper Cup had a big season in 2019. Also saw the emergence of tight end Tyler Higby for the Rams. He really jumped up his game about the last month of the season. But when it came time to ring the bell and get into the end zone, the Rams still look towards Cup. Ten touchdowns in 2019. Runs his routes with great precision and intelligence. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. So the Rams call on Johnny Hecker here to punt it away on fourth down. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. At their own that is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him, 15 big yards. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever is, whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. It's a gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. From the gun on third down, wins. Got him in, he finds Sanders. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Eagles got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make this a second down. At the 34-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Second and seven operating from the 34. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And he's going to get this one all the way down to the Rams' 25-yard line. It's a big play there for the Eagles. 41 yards on the ground. Nothing fancy there. A little smash-mouth football right up the gut on the dive, and it turns into a huge play. You talk about the fastest way to the secondary. Right up the gut, as you described, and sprinted into the secondary for a long, long run. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And now you saw exactly why the rookie out of TCU, Jalen Rager, was selected in the first round by the Philadelphia Eagles. Great quickness, terrific speed, adds a deep threat to the lineup, 
And remember, Carson Wentz threw for over 4,000 yards last year and didn't have a single wide receiver who had catches over 500 yards. A terrific addition by the Eagles in the first round, albeit a bit of a surprise. I think they're going to like what they get out of this young man from Fort Worth. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Throwing now is Wentz. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to run. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. He shows you right there. He can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Oh, the return is Henderson. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Six yards left on second down. A shotgun snap for Goff. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now gone. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing again is gone. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Seven yards to pick up there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. To throw again on second down. Goff out of the backfield. He's got Malcolm Brown. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, it's gone. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Goff throwing again. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Going for it all. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Sam Sloman now for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. one away takes this about five yards deep and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 the Eagles offense back out onto the field you've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half you're well on your own side of the field what are we doing here coach Davis well I'm trying something on first down and it's something that's safe it's something that's been done many times before a lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. And Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him. And he records the sack. It's second down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, as they say here in London, all the 
play for as we are back underway in the second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on third, Goff. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this time. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. To throw. It's wins. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there and a first down. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run. Positions himself well. Excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Third down and three yards to go. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Wentz to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On first down, Brown. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Goff now looking to throw. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and four. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the gun, here's Goff. Man, open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. 24-yard line. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Goff on first down. A quick pass to Cup. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. This is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. The score Rams 21, Eagles 14. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it 
without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now this throw caught left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Wentz now on first down. This ball complete to Rager. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run it, Sanders. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. On the pickup. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second and eight coming up. Out of the gun. Gone. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. To throw is gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before him. Here's Johnny Hecker now as he's on to punt for L.A. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Throwing on first is Wentz. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. 
Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 11 now. Wentz, and quickly finding Rager. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Well, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Working from the gun, Wentz. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Aaron Donald, his second sack of the night. I'm shaking my head and chuckling a little bit now, although it's not funny for anyone trying to block Aaron Donald. But you know all week long, they say to themselves, don't give up any sacks. And they just gave up one there. They double-team him. They triple-team him. They try and isolate and make sure that Aaron Donald can't get to their quarterback. And he always seems to find a way. He's not just a physical presence. He plays a game with a great football IQ. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. An eagle first down. Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down at the 28. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now, once again... And that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Fourth down. 
But the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And he'll hit Jeffrey, complete. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Again, it's Wentz. Well, that's complete to Sanders. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. The Sanders has got it complete. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be third down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks, but you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way, and boy, he can get hurt. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. He's got daylight. The 40. Pass the 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. The score, Rams 28, Eagles 14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and 10 now from the 27. Throwing his wins. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron 
McDonald able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. L.A. readies for its next possession. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at the 40. A shotgun snap for Gong. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On first and 10, golf. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 26. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On first down, Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Rams on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and four. They give it to Brown. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. So many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. For the field goal, a 34-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though?
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's caught by Jackson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a game Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time, down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And this one incomplete. With too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Wentz to throw on third and one. And he connects with Ertz. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. One of the selling points of the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Wins to throw again. Steps away to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. To throw again on second down. Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the gun on third down. Wentz. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. They'll go for it. It's Wentz looking for the end zone. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Uh, 
They defer to Brown to start the drive. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and eight. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. He's taken down. Well, the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.